Good morning everyone. Wisdom of the tea leaves again. I took a couple of days break. Been kind of busy getting up extra early so there's no time for tea leaves. I've had to drink my tea later and out there on the road. Um, kind of a bummer. But anyhow, I'm back now and I'm opening my package to check it out. Let's see what this morning has for us. I've been missing this little ritual. Um, it's been kind of a nice way to start the day and read something um, positive and inspiring and thought provoking and then try to continue to think about that throughout the day and see how it applies in in different situations or in general. So here we go. This morning the tea leaves say when you act with compassion, you will never be wrong. That's really groovy because I'm reading a book by Paul Bloom. He's a Harvard psychologist, moral psychologist, who makes the case against empathy. That is his book, The Case Against Empathy. But he is pro-rational compassion and he makes the difference between the two, saying empathy um, is not always the best guide for our actions and um, unfortunately empathy is the most exploited um, sort of emotional state by people who want to take your money <laughs> let's say um, a nonprofit organization who shows you a picture of a cute kid that's all snuffly and dirty and says you know, you can help this kid for 35 bucks, so here you are, or empathetic, sending you 35 bucks to the kid. Meanwhile, there's like a whole nation out there that's starving and struggling, and we're not really doing anything about it. Like, if we're more compassionate, if we have rational compassion, we can think in terms of big picture solutions that we can help more people not just be triggered by one situation and just respond to that one situation and and that's just one example and and how he draws the distinction between just empathy and rational compassion and he says if empathy drives you to positive action and um and it's a um not just a reflexive action but a well thought out action then you're okay, but often we're very reflexive. We just react, it's like, oh, and then we do something. And so people take advantage of us um, and we put ourselves in situations that are not optimal, let's say. So interesting book if you wanna take a look at it. So back to compassion. It's the probably the number one value in Buddhist psychology, um, the driving force of things like uh, Usually in the Buddhist world, um, the main form of meditation is vipassana, which is mindfulness inside meditation. And the sister practice of that is loving kindness meditation or, or contemplating compassion. It's because um, being mindful and rational is a good thing, but it's it could be a cold thing. And compassion can sort of soften us um, to... Um, be more responsive where we need it and towards ourselves. So anyway, um, compassion, with compassion, you will never be wrong. So I have to say that's probably true. Um, if you're compassionate, you can be thoughtful and that means you're paying attention to what's going on around you and to the needs of others and um, if you're rational with your compassion, then you can definitely be of help in a good way and not just enabling people or putting band-aids on situations, but really contributing positively and productively um, and effectively in ways that are necessary, not just in ways that make us feel good or feel better for this one moment. Compassion is really about the other person and what they need and sometimes what they need is not very pleasant for us to deliver, right? Um, anyhow, 
Um, so back to Paul Bloom, he says, empathy will drive us towards actions that will make us, us feel better at the moment about a situation, but compassion will um, drive us further. It's not about how we feel, it's what we're contributing to others and to ourselves too. Being compassionate to ourselves means taking good care of ourselves and understanding ourselves and honest with ourselves so we can be compassionate. While empathy might drive us to, let's say, um, self-gratification actions or uh, we just want to do something nice for this person at this moment. Like I can take my friend to get a pedicure so she feels nice at the moment, but I'm not really making her life better and helping her solve her problems that are making her feel terrible in first place. Anyway, it's an interesting concept. What do you think about it? Um, where do you stand on that compassion versus empathy? Um, how do you see those things in your own life and what are your own thoughts? Um, send me a comment, an email. Anything you want, I love hearing from you guys. And as always, if you need me in your life to help you figure things out or sort yourself out, sometimes we just need someone to talk to to sort ourselves out and to hear ourselves speak. And you don't necessarily want to go to a psychotherapist because you're not necessarily sick, you're just a human being in distress or a human being on cross, on a crossroad. So um, give me a buzz. You can find me on valentinapetrovaconsulting.com and I will talk to you later. Bye.